So I think there's several reasons I went into pediatric ID. Um, one of the reasons has been that I really enjoy collaboration and multidisciplinary collaboration. And part of being a in pediatric infectious disease doctor is about uh, being a great collaborator and being able to uh, lead uh, improvements in care for patients. So for me, it's been about mentors. Uh, early on when I was in medical school, I um, actually ended up doing research uh, in Boston with a colleague who was a pediatric ER and ID doc. And uh, what I enjoyed about it were two things. So one, uh, he was just a wonderful person, incredibly kind, incredibly smart, a great leader, a great thinker. Um, and for me, that kind of role model really influenced my interest in pediatric infectious disease. Um, the other is that he gave me opportunities to work on research that I um, had no prior skill um, in doing. Uh, so being able to take large data and make sense of it and um, being able to do that kind of problem solving in real time with uh, clinicians who um, were asking very important clinical questions for me, again, w was fun and, and, um, and a way for me to be able to figure out how I can contribute differently. So I would say a lot of the reason I went into pediatric ID was because of the, um, the mentors that I've had and also just because I... Um, as I look around the hospital and I see a lot of the clinicians that care for patients, I often find that I want to model myself off of a lot of the senior ID clinicians in our hospitals that care for patients. They're um, very patient, very thoughtful, um, kind, compassionate, and, and part of a, um, always functioning well as part of a larger team. And to me, um, that kind of uh, um, uh, care delivery uh, felt really comfortable to me. Uh. <laughs> like the $64 million question. <laughs> so I would say it's a work in progress. I, the one thing I have to say about pursuing an academic research career is that, um, you know, all of us work hard in pediatric ID, all of us work hard in medicine, um, but for me it's been really a great career choice in part because it gives me the flexibility that I need to balance what I need to do at work with what I need to do at home. Um, and I have two kids <laughs> and a very cute dog who, um, who, you know, that's part of my joy, and I just want to make sure I don't miss out on that. Um, this is getting way too personal. <laughs> you can just cut all that out. <laughs> you know, if you're interested in being part of a larger effort or a larger movement to really move um, patient health forward, um, the healthcare delivery system forward, or population health forward, I think pediatric ID is actually a great field to go into. There's just tons of opportunity for folks who are interested in this kind of work, whether it be clinical um, infection prevention, antimicrobial stewardship, or research. If you're interested in becoming a pediatric ID specialist, I think what I would do is seek out folks around you um, who have different types of pediatric ID careers. There are many of us in um, the field of pediatric ID who uh, very much enjoy mentoring young colleagues, and we would, uh, we would very much welcome any interest in our specialty and being able to help you think about your career and nurturing your career along uh, as you grow into an academic pediatrician, as you grow into a health system leader, um, whatever route you choose, uh, you know, please feel free to come and find one of us.